Students from all over the U.S. and right here in Connecticut coming together to call for more gun control. Yeah, tomorrow there are several marches. Uh, of the March for Our Lives is called Rallies, planned across our state. And News 8's LaSalle Blanks joins us live from Guilford now at the Green, where students will be gathering tomorrow. LaSalle. Hey guys, good evening. I'm standing in front of a church where a bus will leave for Washington, D.C. at 3 a.m. this morning, carrying about, tomorrow morning, I should say, carrying about 50 area high school students. But for the big group staying behind, they say you will see here on the Guilford Green tomorrow that there is power in being local and vocal. The Guilford Green looks a lot different now than it will tomorrow. Teenagers are coming together with adults to send a message to Washington about gun control and stopping school shootings. I think it's really big for everyone, for the kids to really make a change because, as I said, they're not listening to adults at the moment. And it's really important for the kids to go out there and say what they want to say. These students at Guilford High School came together to help mobilize their classmates to help organize and participate in Guilford's March for Our Lives rally tomorrow afternoon. They say the students who originally spoke out after the shootings in Parkland, Florida, gave them motivation. It's just amazing to see um, the passion that they have for this and the conviction and they're not afraid of anything and um, I think without them Tyler and I wouldn't be doing this. There are at least 10 March for Our Lives events throughout Connecticut tomorrow. Lieutenant Brian Foley with the Hartford PD says officers around the state will help make sure everything is safe and peaceful. So you're going to see a lot of uniformed officers almost on every corner you'll have officers around. There'll also be an undercover contingent there as well as we start to want to keep these large events. We want to keep them safe uh, from anything bad happening. Connecticut will also be represented in Washington. These two students in Guilford organized a bus trip to the nation's capital. You know, I'm just really excited to get out there. It's going to be, I can, I've never been to March in D.C. before. But with that excitement also comes focus and purpose. I'm just looking forward to seeing so many kids come out and support the cause um, against gun violence and for gun control. The fact that it could happen and it happened to any of us is really scary. Um, and also it's been really good seeing kids finding their power and their voices. Um, and I just want to continue that energy for them going forward. Adults in town are proud to see their passion. I sure hope these kids can make a difference. This isn't a partisan issue. Staying alive at school shouldn't be a party politics conversation. This community has recently been hit by tragedy. 15-year-old Ethan Song died of gun violence here not too long ago. His father just gave us an exclusive interview moments ago. He, we will have that interview for you later tonight here only on News 8. By the way, his father is scheduled to speak here tomorrow at the rally here. We're live in Guilford, LaSalle Blanks, News 8.